This is a short tutorial demonstrating how to interpret chest radiographs using a simple system. Specific pathologies will be covered in separate videos. In an exam setting it is important to have a structured approach to demonstrate an awareness of the amount of information that can be gained from a chest film. The approach we will use is an A squared B C D E one. A squared is composed of adequacy of the film and airway. B stands for breathing, C for cardiac silhouette, D diaphragm, and E everything else. It is important that before you consider any radiograph you ensure that it is of the correct patient and was taken at the time you anticipated. You should also ensure that it is orientated correctly with the left side on the right of the screen as you view it. Chest radiographs can be AP, PA or lateral. An AP film may be performed more commonly in acutely unwell patients who are unable to attend the x-ray department for departmental PA films. Let us now consider the film itself. We will first consider the adequacy of the film and you can use the mnemonic RIP. R stands for rotation, I for inspiration and P for penetration. First of all we will consider rotation. Look to see if the clavicles are symmetrical around the sternum. This will demonstrate whether the patient was appropriately positioned for the x-ray. I stands for inspiration. You should be able to see at least five anterior ribs in the lung fields. Note we have also illustrated the posterior aspect of the ribs on these films. P stands for penetration. You should just be able to see the outline of the vertebral bodies through the cardiac silhouette. The second A stands for airway. The trachea is visible here, and you would expect to see the bifurcation of the trachea as illustrated. You should look to see the trachea is not deviated to one side or other, and if it is, to consider the pathologies that may have caused it. These may include tension pneumothorax with deviation of the trachea away from the side of the pathology, massive pleural effusion with once again deviation away from the side of pathology and collapse with deviation towards the side of the pathology. B is for breathing. The lung is black on a radiograph with visible vascular markings going out to the periphery and if they do not go out to the periphery this may be the result of a pneumothorax. When looking for a pneumothorax it can be useful to invert the colours on the radiograph and or rotate the film. Outlined here you can clearly see the costophrenic angles and outlined here you can see the cardiophrenic angles. These angles can be blunted or lost in pleural effusion, collapse consolidation and pneumothorax. When viewing a chest radiograph you should look for unexpected pathology within the confines of the lung fields. C is for cardiac silhouette. Here you can see the boot shaped cardiac silhouette with the aortic knuckle. The heart may be enlarged in pathologies such as cardiomegaly or significant pericardial effusion. You can only, however, classically talk about the cardiac size in the context of a PA film. D is for diaphragm. Here you can see the diaphragm on the left overlying the stomach and with the gastric bubble visible. On the right, the diaphragm overlies the liver. The diaphragm may be raised on one side or the other as a consequence of pathologies such as phrenic nerve palsy. If you see a gas bubble under the right side of the diaphragm, this may represent perforation of an abdominal viscous. And finally, E stands for everything else. You should look on the radiograph for any overlying or indwelling lines or instruments. You should look to see where they lie and their potential purpose. These may include central venous catheters, chest drains, nasogastric tubes, pacing wires, pacemakers and sternal wires. The latter may be evidence of previous thoracotomy. You should also look at the skeletal structure to look for evidence of old and new fractures or deformity. Outlined are the clavicles and the ribs. You can also look for abnormalities in the soft tissue surrounding the thorax. These may include surgical emphysema. If presented with a film where the diagnosis is clear, do not be afraid to lead with the most striking abnormality. However, it is still worth reviewing the radiograph with a system such as A squared B C D E to ensure subtle aspects of the film are appreciated. This concludes the A squared B C D E approach. 
which we hope will be of benefit not only for examinations but also in your working life.